thank you for tuning into my video today class is now in session today's lesson is we're going to be making a bucket hat and i was going to do this really extravagant multicolored bucket hat but i said let me keep it cute let me keep it simple so everybody can grasp what i'm putting out so you could pick up what i'm putting down okay so i will be using these two colors together um I would just use this one, but I feel like it just might not be enough. Now, if you just wanted to use one yarn, you would adjust your the amount of stitches that you put into your magic circle. So when you're doing a bucket hat, you either start, you could start with six or eight or 10 in your magic circle. But if you have a chunkier yarn, you're gonna wanna go for a lesser number in your starting, um, your starting row. So for this one, I'm gonna go for a I'm gonna go for six stitches into my magic circle. So let's get started. You're going to make a magic circle. All a magic circle is, is you are crossing your fingers. Over. I meant to say you're crossing the yarn over your fingers. Like this. You're going to stick your hook under, pull up the loop. Then you are going to pull through so therefore I can let it go and nothing happens now I'm going to chain two well that was one two and then I'm going to begin to do a half double crochet into the magic circle so one two three four five six and then I'm going to take it and put it into this Here we have it. On your next row, you're gonna chain two, turn your work, turn over, and you're gonna put two half double crochets in each stitch. This is the increase to begin to give you room in the hat for your head. Some of the steps are a bit repetitive. I'm just going to put the pattern on the screen for the steps that are kind of repetitive. Always remember to slip stitch into your very first stitch when you reach your end of your row. And also remember to chain two and turn your work. If you find that your hat is getting too small too fast, maybe you should adjust your pattern and put a half double crochet into the same stitch that you started your row on. Now this is the this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine rows. And on this ninth row, we did an increase on every eighth stitch. So now what I'm going to do is because I'm using two different yarns, it's uh, making the hat a little bit bigger. Usually if you're only using one yarn, you'd um do up to maybe 11 um, rows to make so that it'll fit the size of your head. Um, so here we are. I'm going to chain two. 
one, two. And I'm gonna turn my work. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to yarn over and put my hook through the back stitch. So because we have two yarns, we have two back stitches. So I'm putting it between this multicolor yarn that's right here, the white and orange, and then the orange. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet. And I'm gonna continue that all the way around. So one half double crochet all the way around, making sure that you get under both of the yarns to make this here bucket hat. After you finish doing the back stitches, you are just going to go into each stitch with one half double crochet. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. If y'all wanted this project to go a little bit faster, you probably could have done a half double crochet. No, uh, you probably could have done uh, the whole project with a double crochet and that would have made it go a little faster. Right. So after that um, back stitch row, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, some, some um, just regular rows. And now I'm going to do, to get like a, a flare effect, not a ruffle effect, but a flare effect. So I'm gonna put an increase in every stitch. When I say increase, I'm just referring to putting two half double crochets into one stitch. At the end of our work. Now we have to do is take a scissor off the excess then you're going to do like a you can either pull it through or you can chain one well chain one and pull through and there you have it now of course i can't put it on my head because i have on a um i have an afro no i'm just kidding but yeah this is what the hat kind of looks like so in order to weave in the ends, there's a special tool for it and there's also a needle for it. But this a needle that's or a hook that's smaller than the one that you were using to create the project works just fine. So all I do is let me break down. All I do is stick my hook in the back. So in the back of the half double crochets through right and then I pull it through and you're gonna want to do that for a little while until You know more than half of the string that you are trying to tuck in is hidden so that it doesn't get loosed out university students class is now dismissed thank you for tuning into my video but anyway y'all uh, class is dismissed and i thank you so much for tuning into my video don't forget to like share subscribe and comment anything really anything you can tell me something positive something you think i should improve on something i should try next anything i appreciate all your interactions mm -hmm.